What is the gospel? The basic gospel message, the good news, can be summed up in a lot of ways. Most people have recourse to the classic John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that anyone who believes in him might not perish but have eternal life. We see it at sporting events, people have it tattooed. The Catechism sums up the gospel in this way. Paragraph 422 says, This is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. God has visited his people. The Father sends his Son. Jesus visits his people. The Word becomes flesh and dwells among us. It is in all of these things that we find the good news. The reality that because of the Incarnation, we're never alone. And because of the Incarnation, Jesus comes to meet us exactly where we are. Catechism goes on to state that there are four reasons that the Word became flesh. The first is that so we might know God's love, so that we might know the preferential love of the Father who doesn't even hold back his only Son, who spills every drop of his precious blood for our salvation. In the sacrifice of the Son, the Father's great love is manifest to us. Jesus also came among us to be our model of holiness, to teach us how to live and to teach us how to love, sparing nothing and holding nothing back. Ultimately, he came to reconcile us to the Father by his cross, to save us from our sin. If we don't have sin, we don't need a savior. That's good news. The good news is that even in our sin, he meets us right there. He's not afraid of it. He doesn't shy away from it. And finally, he came to make us partakers in divine nature. That when he meets us exactly where we are, he desires to raise us up so that we can live forever in heaven with the Father. And the beautiful thing is he also establishes the church to facilitate all of these things. Jesus comes into the messiness of life. He meets us there. He gives us the church to meet us there as we find him in the sacrament of reconciliation. The fact that Jesus meets us in our mess is the best news. I mean, he comes and is born in a stable for crying out loud, surrounded by animals and hay and probably a pretty good stench. <laughs> but he's not afraid of it. He doesn't shy away from it because we are not the sum of our weaknesses and failures, as Pope John Paul II would remind us. We are the sum of the Father's love for us in our real capacity to become the image of the Son. We become the image of the Son not by our own power, not by the things that we're going to do or the things we're not going to do, but because of the saving work of Jesus Christ and his willingness to meet us, to accompany us, and to raise us up. The question is, will you let him? Because during this Advent, we are called to prepare our hearts. And ready or not, here he comes. Happy Advent. <laughs>